Now, guys, I know you guys, if you are in the anime and manga community, you have experienced this one too many times. And in this week's episode of Kiss Him, Not Me, episode 6, I would have to say that would be Shipping Wars. Now, this episode was totally hilarious, and at the same time, it hit home because as someone who watches anime and read manga like myself, I have seen this occurrence happen so many times I have lost count. Now, in this episode, we have where Kai and Nishina are fighting with each other. They're bickering with each other because of their ships. And their ships are based on this new anime that they were watching. And it's basically, you know, who's top and who's bottom. It's the same couple, but they're arguing on who's the top and who's the bottom. Basically, the person who leads the relationship into saying, um, you know, I like you. And that will be interpreted into the Seme or Yuke. Um, you know, the person who tops and the person who bottoms. So, because of that and their differences in that, they start to argue and they don't even talk to each other for a good number of days. And it kind of causes a drift between the two. Because, remember, they were so close when they, were, when they first met due to how similar they are in the terms of that they love anime and manga. Now, this episode was so hilarious because it made me think about all the times where... There's a certain series I watch, and I join the fandom. I'm the type of person that, when it comes to shipping, and it happens in the in any type of fandom, I'm the one. I'm the person that sits back and watch it all implode. Like I see people going back and forth, and I'm just that person who sits back and has the popcorn in her hands, and I'm eating it, and I'm just watching this side fighting with this side, and I find it completely hilarious. Now I, I do ship, but not as often as you may think. Now, the last pairing I did ship, please no one bash me for this, was Naruto and Sakura. I was a huge Naru Saku fan, and yes, I, I did feel it when, when they didn't get together, but I do know what it's like to ship characters and then possibly get upset when <laughs> others disrespect your ship. So, when I say this episode, I think this series, the thing is, was such a relatable main character, and for us viewers who watch anime and, and read manga... Um, she hits a lot of points that a lot of us have come across when we deal with these type of subjects. And if this episode did not hit home for you, then I don't know what did because you have seen it for yourself. And sometimes it can get so ridiculous for the most pettiness within these shipping wars that you have to wonder, do people really s just go in all day? Sitting behind a screen just so that you can curse out the next person and tell them that your ship is wrong, my ship is right. Like if you ship, like the, the biggest fandom that I saw, and the fandom is not as big as it used to be, but when it came to the shipping wars, it was like, it was ridiculous. I think the one that everybody would know of is like the free fandom with the Makaharu and the Rinharu and how much that was crazy. These two these two were fighting and then you had the Regisa and they were just like, you know, the perfect couple. But nobody was ever satisfied with the Makaharu and the Rinharu and we saw how that just erupted and blown out of proportion. So it can get pretty nasty. Like... When a series starts within, within an anime, everybody's all peaceful until someone decides to pair two characters together and someone has a different opinion. So this episode really showed us the dark side of the anime and manga community when people decide to pair characters together and then there's always you know a certain certain set of people or that person that does not agree with your opinion and it goes even to the extreme where like they go write fan fictions to see who's better like once they write their fan fictions of the characters that they were shipping the akane and the lord or the lord and the akane whoever got the most views on their fan fiction was the one that won now even though we saw when Nishina won she was also told, like, by Igarashi, where he told her that you feel better about making the person that you like cry, even though you won at the, at the end of the day. And we, we saw, like, a flashback on Nishina's character. Now, we know she is, you know, a rich girl. So, she did have her struggles growing up as being the rich girl, the one who was made fun of, the one that didn't really have a lot of friends. And how she came across Kai and how she came to, you know, fall in love with her 
was pretty sweet and also pretty funny at the same time too. The way she came across her was when she first started um, the school that she attends to with the others and then she see where Kai's coming and crashing into a group of kid, other kids and you know it was a body flying, a nice body flying attack or something of that sort and after that is when she was at like a, a, a manga comic convention. And she saw Kai come there and Kai bought all her doujins and from there that's how she came to fall in love with her because even though Kai has changed physically, the person that she was has never changed and for, for Nishina, she loves Kai no matter what. And that's how she fell in love with Kai. And uh, it, was, it was sweet, but also pretty funny because of, like, how how she met Kai. But uh, at the same time, it was also sweet because of how she came to love her for someone that was so caring. And someone that did not care of who she was or what she was. So, at the end of the day, they did make up. And they came to the conclusion that they are versatile, so their ships can switch around. And it doesn't matter who is the top and who is the bottom for them. So long as the ship is there, they're satisfied. So, at the same time, you, you come to realize that, like, they're so close with each other. Like, you know, really good friends. That really good friends do bicker at times. They do bicker for, for really, you know, the smallest of things. But at the same time, you know you're really close or you, your friendship is really that tight where you can argue with each other but at the same time you can make up with each other by the end of the day and I was really glad that they did because it would have been kind of sad to see Kai lose a friend that she was really close with and you know for, for Nishina the same thing but also love that lose that love interest that she had because basically Kai was that light for her in her in her dark shadowy place where she felt like she didn't belong Kai became that light for her so I'm glad that they um made up by the end of the episode but this episode was like you know it showed us a side that we all probably didn't want to recognize but it's there within the anime and manga community and that is the shipping and if you're one of those people that you know like myself that stays on the sidelines and watch everything fall or if you're that person that's involved with it you know, do drop a comment down below on how you felt about this week's episode because this episode really hit home. Um, the links are in the description box as always so you guys can go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast and I will see you guys later. Bye!